Hello. How are you doing? Can they see us? Can they see you? If you go in front, then they can see you. So try seeing. I'm not in front. You don't want to be it? Do you want to be on or no? No. Okay. I'm Rabbi Fryer Bodzin. And um, today I am so excited to read to the young Beth Zedek community one of the favorite books in our house called Avi the Ambulance Goes Mom, to School. I have this. One. Right, and we have some props. See, these are our pro props. I have an assistant. Her name is, what's your name? Is your name Rabbi Fryer Bodzin? Oh, that's Ariella Bodzin. And she might be joining us, but she definitely has props. So, Avi the Ambulance. I just the Avi the Ambulance and the motorcycle. Right, so we have Avi the Ambulance and the motorcycle. I can show you in the book at the first place. On the first, okay. And this is a PJ Library book, and it was one of our favorite books that we've probably read every I night for about also, four months. I also make a book too. I know, but we're going to read your book after we read Avi the Ambulance, okay? I know how to read my book by myself. Yeah. Good. All right. In Jerusalem lived a family of ambulances. Yeah. Some were big and some were small. Avi was the youngest and the, one of the smallest. There was dad, the command car, and mom, the command car, and Benny, the ambulance, and Avi, the ambulance. Where's your Avi, the ambulance? Avi, the ambulance. Room. Room, room. And there was Maya. The ambulance, and there was Moti. Where's Moti? The motorcycle. Show me the Moti, the motorcycle. Pardon? You want to be on the other side of my lap? And there was also La, the helicopter. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Avi's family loved to help people. His big sister Maya flashed her lights and sang woo, 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 as she rushed sick or hurt people to the hospital. Woo, 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 woo. And her big brother Benny rumbled his engine and honked toot, toot, toot as he brought blood to hospitals for sick people. Do ambulances help, Ariella? Yeah. Have you ever been in an ambulance? Just one time, right? I don't remember. I know. Is that remember when he swallowed the quarter? Oh, yeah. We used Hatsola, the ambulance in New York. Okay, continuing on. I want to help too, said Avi. Where's your Avi? You're not ready, said father. Avi, you must go to ambulance school to learn to drive safely, said mother. Is it very, very hard, asked Avi. It's hard work, but fun, said father. I, Just like school and, and, or computer I, school. And, and I have a big bike. I went biking. You went biking? Yeah, is, the, is there an ambulance that's a bike? But this is a motorcycle like my bike. Can you put it on the screen? Okay. All right. The first morning of ambulance school, Avi's, it's our favorite page, Avi's window and his hubcaps <laughs> shine. I can't see the book. I know, but the screen has to see it. Everyone Bye. find a partner, said the teacher. And Avi met Zach. Well, we're not using the motorcycle now. I want to show Hi, you. I'm Avi. Let's be friends. Hi, I'm Zach. Great. So the ambulance got a friend named Zach and they work together. Some of the things they would learn would be to zig and zag, or in Hebrew, zig bizag, to zoom and stop, zoom ulehavsik, to load and don't go. Don't the Hebrew part. Why not? I don't like it. Boring. Okay, and it says, "Welcome to school." Can I do that one in Hebrew, mm -hmm. please? Ruchim habayil lebei hasefer. Okay, I'm turning the page. Wait, you're in front of the screen now. I can't read. And they learned how to zig and zag. Avi made sure not to hit the cones. They went zoom the room. Avi, try again. Follow the white lines. Avi was just learning. They learned how to stop and zoom. That's better. Great going. Zoom the room. 
I'm having trouble getting the um, book in front of the screen right now. They learned how to load patients quickly and safely. Here's a patient, but it's not a real patient. They were just practicing with a teddy bear. Isn't that cute? And here's a teddy bear actually, are you upset? Sorry, honey, I just have to read the story. Getting, learning how to get onto the ambulance. Finally, Avi and Zach graduated and they probably had a real life graduation. I'm a life-saving ambulance now, said Avi, and I'm a medic, said Zach. And Avi's lights flashed as he and Zach got their diplomas. And look at their hats. Isn't it cute that Avi, the ambulance, is wearing a mortarboard right now? Ah, it's so cute. I have a graduating costume and my graduating hat. Still. For when you graduated preschool? Yeah. It was pink. So Avi has a dream at night. Isn't it cute that the ambulance is dreaming? He says, tomorrow I'll do good things. And he went to bed and he dreamed brave dreams. Boys and girls, I hope you have brave dreams at night. I really hope you do. The next day in the morning, Zach ate his breakfast while Avi got a full tank of gas. Maya zoomed to work and then Benny left and they passed a toy store and a falafel store. But I can't see the story at all. Mm, I'm sorry you can't see it. Do you want to go up? Want me to go on the other side of the computer? Like if you stand over there, then you can read the book, but the screen needs to see the book because it's for the people. Hi, but can I go on your lap? Yeah. When Avi tried to go, he wobbled. Ouch, yelled Avi. He bumped to a stop. No fair. Heroes aren't supposed to have flat tires. He had a flat tire. How can you be a hero if you have a flat tire? Don't worry, I'll change your tire, said Zach. Hurry, hurry, said Avi. Do you see the picture of the flat tire? I know, such a shame. No, I oh. can just look underneath it. Oh. Okay. When Zach was done, whoops, there you go. I can just can look at the stream. Okay. Avi looked at his reflection in the window. His new tire felt good and Avi felt ready to go. Later, their radio came on. Girl hurt, needs help. Avi, you are the nearest and the right size. Avi, go, 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 go. And Avi the ambulance had something exciting to do now. He started going through the streets of Jerusalem, singing woo, woo, woo. And he flashed his lights and he reared his engines and he had to get through all of these tight places, but he did it. He drove on a narrow street that his brother couldn't go through because his brother was too wide. And he zoomed under an arch that his sister Maya was too tall for. This is going to the old city of Jerusalem. And soon Avi arrived. A girl was standing by the side of the road. Oh no, let's see what happens to this girl. What's your name, asked Zach. The little girl said, I'm Shira. And she sniffled and she had a little boo-boo because she fell off her bike. I was riding fast so I could get home to help my Ima prepare a Shabbat dinner. Maybe she had to set the table or maybe she had to clean up her toys or maybe she had to bake the challah. I have a bike too. That's great. I Do any of you have bikes? My leg really hurts. Zach said, don't worry. And Avi said, I know how that feels. We fixed my tire today. I'll drive you to the hospital. So Zach put a splint on Shira's leg to keep it still and safe. And then Zach put her in the back of Avi the ambulance and Avi drove safely. It was a great thing they learned how to practice on teddy bears. So now they could do it for teddy real. Bears. What's teddy bears? Remember they practiced earlier on a teddy bear? Soon they arrived at the hospital. It says in Hebrew, Beit Cholim. Can I, can I change it now? Nope, I'm on this page. I, want, I need to be up here, people can see the picture. That was fast, said Shira. 
It's fun to go fast, but we learned how to do it safely in ambulance school, Avi said proudly. That's how we help save lives, added Zach. In ambulance, is ambulance school hard, asked Shira. It is hard, but it's fun, said Avi. I want to turn the page. Okay, can you turn it? Thank you. Good job. Can I hold the page up? Yeah. Move it a little this way. Avi and Zach said goodbye to Shira. Her Abba met Shira and her Ima at the hospital. Whoops. When I grow up, I want to be like Avi and Zach and help people. That's what Shira said. So she had a little cast on her leg, but she gets better in the end. So it's, it's okay. I like this book too. Avi and Zach were tired and happy. We're real heroes now, said Zach. We're a good team, said Avi. See you tomorrow. Good job. Isn't that a funny picture? Look at this. Avi took a bath and he scrubbed his grill and he sipped water to cool his engine. Have you ever seen an ambulance take a bath <laughs> with a rubber ducky in Israel? That's so funny. One more page. When Avi returned to the garage, everyone cheered. We're so proud of you, said his parents. Now you're one of us, said Benny. You did real, really well, said Maya. And that night, Avi felt like a hero for helping someone on his very first day. And look at the ambulance is sleeping. Isn't that cute? And you know what else happened? Avi and Zach. Made a new friend, and her name was Shira. Wait, wait, look, it has the motorcycle. I know, but they can't see. So on the back page, we see the life saving work of Magen David Adom, which is part of the life saving ambulances um, and paramedics in oh, Israel. Wait. Don't you? There's, also, there's, also, there's also what, honey? Uh, oh, no, they have to see it. There's a motorcycle and I have the motorcycle at my house and I have all the, the ambulance. Yeah. You know, boys and girls, when you go to Israel one day, you will see Magen David Dome trucks and helicopters and motorcycles and this, and all over the country. And this has a lot of, this has pictures of this has pictures of really important Jewish concepts like pikuach nefesh, the importance of saving a life. And one of the reasons that we're staying home right now and not going out to school is that by staying home, we are saving lives by making sure not contaminated by people who have the germs or the coronavirus. So this is an example of a motorcycle that saves lives. And that's an example of? Avi the ambulance. Avi the ambulance. And we read the story about something taking place in Jerusalem because it's going to be Yom Yerushalayim tomorrow, but I think. You know, oh, I yeah. also made a book. Oh, we have one more story to read. But it's not really a real story. It's made out of a Can you tell us about it? Uh, there, was a, there was first um, a little cow in the and then it called his best friend Piggy. And then they went, and then they went for um, a ship ride to outer space. A ship ride to outer space. They went in. They went in a rocket ship, and then, and then they they and they used their magic carpet, and then they went to a turf, and and the and the first um place they went the was the orange one, mm -hmm. which was on the orange planet full of. Willows, and then they went to a book planet um turquoise and then they went home and then they um <laughs> um hungry and then the turquoise planet was actually the part with dog food and then they went over to and then 
And then this is all a dream, so they woke up from their nap. Oh, and with that, my friends, I hope when you you go to sleep tonight. I can't, but I don't know the words. When you go to sleep tonight, boys and girls, I want you all to go to sleep really easily, one or two stories, and then say to whoever you live with, whether it's a mother or a father or a couple of them, just say, I love you. Good night. I'll see you in the morning. And